Hello everyone, um, so in today's video I was tasked to make a Thai green curry soup. Um, I do lots of Thai green curry chickens, but I don't do it from scratch. <laughs> Today we are doing it from scratch. So I uh, went to the grocery store, went to Costco, went everywhere, and um, really hard to find things that I, I wanted that are traditional in a Thai green curry fish soup. Um, that I wasn't spending like $30 on crab legs. It's a pandemic. I don't got that kind of money. Love you, but uh, no. So I went to an Asian grocery store and I got these frozen mini crabs. Now, I also have like big shrimp from Costco and stuff like that, but this essentially is gonna be like a tiny little bit of crab meat, but what I'm going to do is fortify the chicken stock, yes, chicken stock. I'm going to fortify the chicken stock with the fish tails and the the crab uh, claws. Sure. Um, but they are, as you can see, not cooked. So in a uh, pot of salted boiling water, I'm going to flash these in there. I'm going to get them pink. I'm going to immediately take them out and put them in a ice cold bath to stop the cooking process. I don't want to cook these through. They're going to finish cooking in the soup. I literally just want to get them cooked through enough that I can remove the meat from the skeleton and then clean the skeleton and throw it into my chick chicken stock so I can fortify the flavor so I can get that real deep richness that I'm looking for. So this was $5.99. Um, a really easy way to kind of stretch your budget get the the dish that you want at a more affordable price so pause and we'll see what we're working with okay so they haven't even really come to a boil but my color has definitely changed so at this point I'm going to let them go for 20 seconds and then I'm going to pull them and drop them into my ice bath I want to stop the cooking process when they are cool, we are going to explore and see what kind of meat I can get in here. Now remember, I'm not so concerned about the meat. I mean, crab meat in a Thai green curry soup would be divine, and we are gonna get quite a bit because this is meatier than what I expected. Um, but I really want the skeleton. I really want to fortify my chicken stock, and I really want that rich mommy flavor. So we're gonna come back when I get these in the ice bath. Okay, so take out our crab. Right now I've got um, about two dozen shrimp um, just chilling out in some cold water just so that I can get them to kind of cool down or thaw out rather uh, so I can take the, the tails off. So I'm literally, uh, I'm literally just cleaning out the meat here and the shells I'm saving and I'm throwing them right into my pot so I didn't fully cook okay because it's going to finish cooking in the very hot broth so I'm just scooping out all the meat okay And then what I'd like to show you to get the tiny little bit of meat out of here. Now this is, this is a process, okay? You're gonna get a rolling pin and on a flat surface, you're gonna put pressure here and roll it out. Sorry, I have my camera up a little higher. But then you're gonna take out whatever meat has come out and scoop it into your bowl. So now, it's virtually empty, but this is good because we're going to use this for our stock. So in the pot it goes. Okay, so in my pot here, I have all the, um, the skeletons that I, I wanted to save and to use. And to that, ooh, very cold still. I'm literally just going to be taking the tails off of my shrimp ever so gently. Okay, and throwing the tails 
into my um, my stock pot here. They still might be a tad frozen, so I may have to. Oh my lid. Okay. Yeah, super cold. But that's what you want to do. Um, you just you're gonna pinch with your finger and wiggle. Don't just rip right away, because then you'll take a whole lot of shrimp with you, and we don't want to do that. See? No shrimp in here, all the shrimp here. So again, your fingers here, you're gonna pinch, okay, right here, squeeze, and just wiggle back and forth, and voila. So I'm gonna get all the tails in here, we'll put the chicken stock in, and I'll meet you at the stove. Okay, so I've got all my, my skeleton, um, stuff in here including the shrimp tails. I've got two cartons of chicken stock. I'm going to bring this to a boil on high and then I'm going to reduce to medium low and I'm going to let it simmer uh, for probably about 30 minutes just so I can impart all of that uh, fish flavor which is going to give the soup a nice depth. Okay so she's been simmering for about 20 minutes. It definitely smells of a lovely seafood aroma. So I'm going to transfer the stock into another pot and in doing so I'm going to strain it. I don't have a big strainer. I have an itty bitty strainer. So um, I just want to tell you the reason I'm doing that is because there's little particles in here and I just want to make sure that I, I'm not going to get a little particle of shell because that would be entirely detrimental when you're eating it. Okay so I'm using a little strainer because that's what I have. This is definitely a labor of love, people. If you want to do this stock without doing the, the skeletons in it, feel free to just go ahead and do it. Um, I'm just trying to impart another depth of, of flavor to the dish. So I don't, I don't think... Pause. Okay, I know you can see some red down here, but I'm trying to do this in a way where you can see exactly what I'm doing, and someone asked me to not do this in portrait mode, and so, anyways. We're trying out different things here, okay? So, we're just literally sifting, okay? There's strain, and there's already some bits in my strainer here, and this is just going to make sure that Whatever stock I'm putting in here is absolutely clean. So aside from that big piece you saw, there is some substantial stuff in here. And some of it could be shells, which, you know, I don't want people to choke. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sift all this. And then I'm going to get my mise en place ready. And my mise en place is that you're going to get everything that you need done. All your chopping, all that stuff, ready to go. Mise en place, ready to go. So I'm going to um, mince uh, two cloves of garlic. I'm going to um, mince about two tablespoons of lemongrass, about a quarter cup of... Uh, oh gosh. Well, I'm going to get about two cups of baby spinach ready, washed in all that goodness. I'm going to get a quarter cup of cilantro finely diced. I'm going to get my green Thai curry paste ready to go. I'm going to use about three teaspoons of that. I'm going to use about a tablespoon of granulated white sugar, and I'm going to get my coconut milk uh, ready to go. Okay, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we've got our mise en place ready to go. Um, in a bowl here, I've got um, about a tablespoon of zested ginger, two cloves of zested garlic, I've got a, about a tablespoon and a half or one stalk of um, diced lemongrass. I also zested the lime just because if I'm using lime juice, why not? Um, 
I've got about six large mushrooms here. I've cut open my lime, a quarter cup of diced um, cilantro, green onions for garnish. Uh, we got my sugar ready um, using three teaspoons of green Thai curry. I've washed the lid of my coconut milk and got it ready for myself. My olive oil, which is in the pan where my aromatics are about to go. I'm using rice noodles. Feel free to use whatever noodles you want. Uh, probably not spaghetti, wouldn't recommend that. Uh, or uh, rice, I didn't have Japanese sticky rice. I pretty much just have minute arborio and basmati. So we're using rice, uh, rice noodles. And in all the, you know, uh, fiasco in doing my shop, I forgot soy sauce. Crucial for the salt element of this dish. However, <laughs> you've heard me say it before, people, we throw nothing away. So Chinese food <laughs> delivery, I'll be using about three packets of this. Otherwise, you'd want to use about one to two tablespoons for your salt content. So I'm going to start with two. Um, if I need to add more, I've got three. And if I need to have more, I have a whole, whole fridge full. So we're gonna get our aromatics going in my uh, saucepan now and we'll be back momentarily. Okay, so I've added three teaspoons of my green chai curry paste here. And I'm just gonna let this go for about another 30 seconds. Get it all nice and uh, mixed up and I want it to kind of activate spices in the curry mix. I want it to uh, turn that down. It's spitting at me. I want it to get aromatic. So when I can start to smell that, that's going to be a good time. And we're going to add in about a half a cup of our stock that we made. Now we did fortify our stock with uh, the skeletons, the shells of our, our fish that we're using. You don't have to, you can just go ahead and use a fish stock if you want, um, or a chicken stock or a vegetable stock if you want as well if you're going to do a vegetarian um, version of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and, oh that smells lovely, and uh, I'm going to put some stock in. Okay, so we've got the stock in and we're just going to uh, let this go for about a minute. We just want to make sure that all the curry is combined um, and once it's combined we're going to throw in the rest of our stock now for our stock yes i did fortify it but as well i used two canisters of chicken stock so i'm almost making like a double batch here just because i am making this specifically for the person who in my group um, at the table with friends here challenged me not so much challenged me but said oh you know what i would love so Crystal, this is for you, my darling, a labor of love. So that looks really good. We're going to go ahead and pour in the rest of our stock. And again, if you remember, we did strain our stock just to make sure that there were no little fishy bones in it from the, the small crab or from the shrimp. And I'm going to go ahead and let this simmer for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to get my kids dinner ready because I know they ain't eating this. They're going to have pizza. We'll see you soon. Oh my gosh, the other thing that I'm doing is in a separate pot, I have uh, salted water boiling. I'm going to put in my rice noodles for like 40 seconds. I'm going to rip them out and just submerge them in a ice bath to completely stop the cooking process. Um, because when you're serving the soup, you're going to put your noodles in the, the bottom of the bowl and then pour the soup over top. That warm broth is going to just finish cooking them. I Because they're so thin, I don't want them like motion to fall apart. So legit timing it 40 seconds in the boiling water out into the ice bath. So I've got that water going right now. And we're back. So while washing my dishes and trying to get some of my prep ready for the pizza for the kids, I noticed that I did not put in my tablespoon of sugar or my uh, soy sauce. 
So I added in one tablespoon of sugar and two packets of soy sauce. I'm gonna reserve one um, because you can always add salt, but you can't take salt out. So we're gonna see how that goes with what we've got and we'll come back. Okay, so I've added in my coconut milk. It's got a lovely color and I'm going to squeeze in my lime. Gonna let this come up to a boil. Um, actually, I'm gonna add in my. Um, no, I'm gonna let this come up to a boil before I add anything else. Okay, so now we're. It's coming up to a nice boil. I'm gonna add in my cilantro, and I'm gonna add in my mushrooms, and I'm gonna throw the shrimp in as well as the crab meat that we've prepared. Okay, so I've added in about two cups of spinach to the, <laughs> to the, uh, the soup. And now that this is going really nicely, I'm going to add in the crab meat as well as the shrimp. I'm going to let that go for about five minutes or until the shrimp is done. Okay, so I've added the crab meat and the shrimp. As you can see, they're nice and, oh, they're starting to turn yellow, totally not done. So we are gonna let this go for about another two to three minutes and just make sure that everything's cooked through. I have been tasting as well. It does taste really nice. Um, I did add some more curry paste in um, just because I like things a little bit more spicy as I think my friend does as well. I probably could have kicked up the heat a little bit more. So I probably would do like two to three tablespoons of ginger just because I like that, bam preference thing okay so soup's done in the bowl I have yeah toddler pizza in the bowl I have just some of the noodles um, and now I'm going to pour over the soup and then I'm gonna garnish with some green onion okay so there's the piping hot soup I'm just gonna garnish with some green onions on top feel free to use rice instead if that's what you want we didn't nap today, toddlers are cranky. And there you go, enjoy.